this is a 40 rocket 2x2 two two here. There's three walls. Okay, so it's like 38 for the 2x2 two two and 4 to 8 for the external. Um, it's one sheet, two HQM walls. And we're just going to go through the front door here. And we have our nice jump up with our direct uh, line of sight on our external. Going inward, we have our uh, 360 peaks. You don't need to do this, but I like to do it like so it looks like a furnace base. And it's disguised. And we have our first HQM floor here. Going down to our HQM uh, standard stability bunker here with high foundations. And inward to our core where we have our 14 to 15 rocket. Uh, vending machine HQM uh, behind the TC four stack underneath here um, and we have uh, ample storage ample box space got the uh, electric furnaces up there ample storage some bags um, again pretty standard pretty easy and uh, yeah two HQM one sheet metal 38 rockets plus uh, the external here disconnectable of course and uh, yeah super nice super easy the upkeep for just the two triangles because that's all it's, that's all it is is 13 hqm reasonable upkeep of uh 65 hqm plus the 13 for the first score and then 2k frags and 1.5k stone so uh pretty simple pretty easy okay okay super simple to build uh you're just gonna do a one by three twig so you don't run over rocks and ruin your height foundation and you're gonna make sure when you're bring out your triangle building plan and uh building plan on triangle foundation and make sure when you uncrouched your foundation is going to be tall enough to put a stability bunker when you're uncrouched uh so like right here and then uh crouch or uncrouch crouch first hold alt click move you don't need to try and connect them you're just gonna do a little gap like that and uh i was supposed to uncrouch you're just gonna do a little gap like that and uncrouch click you know standard uh standard floor stack ceiling stack whatever but uh we're gonna want to push this because this is gonna give us building errors since it's freehand if we try and snap anything around um we want to push the uh the gap to the point of the triangle not on the flat side if that makes sense and by doing to do that we're just gonna do square triangle triangle off each side each open side like so and we're gonna break the center twig and come back with square triangle. Just like that. And now we have our freehand gap in this direction on the triangle, pointing towards each other instead of side by side. And now we could upgrade these and go around with a two by two honeycombed, uh, honeycomb two by two foundation pattern. And you're gonna to wanna to choose one of these for your bunker. Um, and I don't want I don't wanna choose that one by the by the closed side. I want this one right here. So you go like that. And uh, you know put your TC in here. Don't don't put a half floor frame in it. Don't put a half floor frame in it, it's gonna prevent you from putting a vending machine up in it. And a uh, single door like that, foundation. Throw a uh, door on it to claim it and to make sure this doesn't decay towards your front door. Uh, towards your front door. And make sure our foundation pattern is going to be like this. Got three triangles in the front. I mean, three squares in the front, like so. And then these don't matter. Uh, wait, I want them in the same direction, even though they don't map. Um, and we're going to upgrade these. Uh, those aren't necessary right now, but to uh, build out to your uh, external TC, just check how many it is. Should be right there, and then break that one. And uh, go back two, I think, right? Yeah. Go back two after, right? So you go as far as you can with squares. And then see where the TC is letting you. And then break the last two and go out 
one square three triangles and raise them up and your TC will just barely fit in the left corner right there. so it's not connected via foundation so we could disconnect it anytime put our roof up here hopefully you have a building skin and there you have your external tc so it's not decaying and then you're going to go ahead and uh, we'll just kind of zoom up um to put your vending machine down uh you know it's a it's a popular thing but use stone foundation first and then um remove any door and then make sure like line it up with the line on the stone foundation right there and then push it back just like a third of the way if you go too far back you'll seal it and you won't be able to open the tc and if you go too far up you'll be able to splash the door so just go like a quarter of the line on the way back and then open it rotate it put some in it so it doesn't give you that giant hit box when you rotate and when you have a small furnace, when you have a small furnace, uh, when you have a small furnace, you'll be able to access the, uh, the door and the TC from the top. Just like that. And now we're just going to go ahead and speed up the final grade honeycombing. We're just going to use all of these because it's only like 13 HQM for one. So we're just going to HQM all the foundations right there. HQM this one. HQM the whole TC and don't demolish it. And HQM the door frame because the vending machine is going to be 10 rockets plus an armored door will be 4 to 5. So I mean, it'll go through sheet metal so it needs to be HQM. Then just do a 2x2. Uh, two two. Just do a 2x2. Two two. The old floor stack 2x2. Two two. And uh put this wall here for the bunker that shouldn't be hqm seal this up for our 30 rocket so we have 14 15 for that and then 14 15 for this just right now it's 30 rockets pretty incredible and we're just going to go back to uh, stone for this go into metal cover the soft sides completely on these and we do a doorway right here and we do sheet metal honeycomb on our uh, beach screen 2x2 so currently from the sides that is one sheet 2hqm um, one sheet metal 2hqm and i like to do the uh the peak roof for like a furnace base you don't have to uh, i like to do it left and right with the v half walls and then on the back flat and then we do low walls on all of these and there's supposed to be a floor there and then you go ahead and you do a wall there i think floor frames it's supposed to be a floor here the back one just has all open all half walls when you spam your uh, triangle roofs hopefully unskinned sheet metal so you have that nice flange that you could shoot through but not see through low walls all the way around and then this can be stone and then uh, we just start doing this stone to cover up the HQM foundations you could technically to make it uh, unless they know there's a bunker in there they don't just think it's a furnace base um, yeah, yeah you, would, you would have to upgrade this to sheet metal for it to be because they could just blast through one stone one HQM and then 15 for 34 so technically if you want to but they'd have to know how would they know how would they know it's not a furnace base then just do a uh, a window or something right here or no window just an entrance and then I like to do a uh, brutalist ramp right here 
just for the, the direct peek on the external door. And yeah, super nice, super easy. The uh, the double the double HQM in the two x two, the thirty eight rocket two x two, the disconnectable four and eight rocket TC. Super nice, super easy, and uh, super decoy furnace basey actually. <laughs> 